Fermanagh is well known for its hidden gems, but tucked away in rural Balik, Cottage 51, the county's best kept secret, is beginning to be discovered by tourists from Ireland and beyond. My grandfather was brought up here, so my mother came here on holidays and uh, three months every year, I believe, and uh, then I began doing it. Sort of a break during the height of the troubles, but couldn't get the place out of my mind. And then it went out of the family, uh, willed into an uncle who had no interest. So that was a cottage and a farm near near Balik. So I was always on the lookout for for uh, for a place, and this came up. It was it was a room, more or less a room, when I got it. I'm lucky with my wife Fleur. She she's an interior designer. So that's when, that's when it really began to, I, I designed the basic, a very basic cottage. And then she came in and looked at it and said, this won't do. It's totally, totally a different, uh, uh, it's a chill out place. They can expect, um, you know, the, the, the bed in the main room is French. Uh, they, 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 they can have a bath in the bedroom, they're open fires. Um, there's a library full of books, whatever language you, you want, uh, we, we've got them in there. Um, and this is a beautiful play. I mean, you can see the view behind me, so... I want a week here myself. Uh, but since, since we finished the work, uh, we, we made a website and... Um, Easter. First booking came in at Easter and it's really been busy since then. I think it's the most beautiful part of Ireland anyway. The, around the Arran here. That's Loch Scalbin behind, it's not the Arran. But uh, it's a good pike lake, if anyone's interested in pike. But, you know, this area for me is, 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 is better than anywhere in Ireland. It's been a long journey for the couple whose hard work has finally paid off. And now as business booms, Kieran prepares for an even greater life-changing challenge. My brother needs a kidney and I'm the lucky uh, donor. I've been found to be a, a you know, perfect match. And uh, We've been testing for about a year and psychological tests as well. Uh, anyway, the upshot is that I'm the match, so we're gonna ex I'm going to give him a kidney. Well, I'm going to undergo an operation and uh, the kidney will be removed and he'll get it. Uh, so he's, I mean, the guy's on dialysis about three days a week, he needs a kidney and it's uh, not so much, well, it's a race against time, but he's not getting any better, so. I'm not tell, telling everyone they should give up their kidney, but yeah, I've, obviously I haven't gone into this blindly and he can live very well um, with one kidney. So, uh, so if, if looking at that, people are walking around with, uh, living very well with one kidney. I would urge anyone who's who's in a position to to help with a family member, you know, not to to, to at least go consider it. At any point, you could uh, the the, uh, the people, the coordinators say at any point you can pull out of this. You know, you, if you get cold feet, if there's any reason that you suddenly feel that you don't want to do it, the more you work with the, with with those people, the um, not easier it becomes, but the more you get to understand about how professional they are and how, how well you're going to be. The statistics are low, low, low of, of anything going wrong. Listen, um, all the best with it and you'll have a lovely cottage here to recuperate when you're done. <laughs> if it's not booked out. Yeah, I want, I want a week in October. I think you should treat yourself to that. <laughs>